All right, are you ready? I am ready to learn how to chocobo breed. Yay! I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Andy Earth. And today, we're going to show you and we're going to guide you through how to obtain the gold chocobo through chocobo breeding. So first, we're going to show you everything that you need to breed your perfect chocobo. So let's go get all of our supplies first. So here's what you'll need. Three carob knots. One Zeo nut. And 63 silk is green. So to get your nuts, you're going to need the steel and a mug materia. And to get your silk is green, you're going to need a total of 315,000 gil. So you might want to farm and sell some materials as well as some extra items and equipment that you don't need anymore because that's a lot of gil, you guys. So to find the care of nut, you'll have to find an enemy called Black Arados. It's on a remote part of the northern continent. It has high HP, so we suggest stealing or mugging the carob nut and then running. Second, while we're here in the northern continent, it's time to go buy our silkus greens. Remember, you need 315,000 gil for it, so make sure that you have the gil before you come here. Make sure you find the little hut that has the chocobo sage so that you can buy your silkus greens. Here's exactly where you can find it on the map. So Mac, why do we want the Silkus Greens? We use the Silkus Greens to feed to our Chocobos to increase their stats for racing. Racing is a very important part of the breeding process. So next, now that we have our Carom Nuts and our Silk is Green, it's time to go get our one Zayo Nut. So find the Goblin Island that is northeast of Calm and the Chocobo Ranch, and land by the forest. And look for a, guess what, a goblin. Once you find the goblin, you're going to want to steal or mug, or even just knock out your enemy. The easy, lazy way to do it is to rely on the item drop, which is almost 100% guaranteed. This is not a rare encounter, and while you're at it, might as well grab the enemy skill. Goblin punch. All right, well, it's catching time. So let's start by getting your first generation of chocobos. For our first generation of chocobos, we are going to want to get two great chocobos. The easiest way to find great chocobos is to go to the area of Medil, and then find the tracks that are to the west of the Medil forest. Run along the tracks until you encounter one chocobo in between two spiral enemies. Not just one, not anything else. It has to be in the middle of two spirals. How many spirals? Two spirals. Very important. To catch the chocobo, you are going to want to distract it with greens. Do not hit the chocobo. Do not use lemon breaks. Do not use magic. Do, don't touch the chocobo. Kill everything else but... Even if you were to destroy the spirals at the same time as damaging the chocobo, the chocobo would still run before you won the battle. Now keep in mind here that this encounter is quite rare. You might run around for a while before you find it. That's just part of how it is. If you want your great chocobo, you're gonna have to work for it. Another thing to note, it would be very useful if you caught several of these chocobos to make sure you have at least one female and one male. We personally caught five chocobos. Now make your way to the chocobo ranch. One thing to mention is that you might have to spend some gil to expand your chocobo staples to make room for your new chocobos. To do so, you want to go in the house next to the chocobo ranch. Always make sure to save before entering the chocobo ranch because you will be doing a lot of resetting. You can check your chocobo stats by talking to Chocobilly. Make sure that you select at least one female great chocobo and one male chocobo and add these to your stable. We would recommend that you let go of the chocobos that you no longer need to make room for the future catching and breeding. We also recommend nicknaming 
the two chocobos that you decide to keep, so you can keep track of which one is which. We named our great chocobo female Chokoff. And we named our male Chokom. Now that we have our starter chocobos, it is time to feed them the silk is green. You want to feed each chocobo, male and female, nine silk is greens total. No more, no less. This will increase their stats, get them ready for some racing. I hope you're ready for some racing. Now it's time to go win! You will need to do a total of four races, two between each boko. You will have to get first place every time. Your speed should be in the low 90s, while the other team will be in around the 70s. Enjoy the music, enjoy the ride, because you're going to be doing a lot of racing. Alright, it's time to go back to the Chocobo Ranch. Make sure that you fight 10 enemies after completing all four of your races. So why do we need 10 battles? The battles indicate a passage of time which allows your chocobos to grow up, so they are ready for breeding. Save! Make save, sure you save. 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 Save, we will not stress this enough. Please save before you do any breeding. You might have to reset for hours if you don't get what you need. Please, 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 please save. You'll want to breed your chocobo male and chocobo female using a carob nut. You'll want to do this twice, saving in between. To in the end, get a blue chocobo and a green chocobo of opposite gender. In this example, our green chocobo here is female. For simplicity, we named our green chocobo Cho Green F, Cho Griff. And we named our male blue chocobo Chocobloon. Or Blue M. Um, for easier identification. Before trying to breed your great chocobos a second time, you'll need to fight 10 battles to pass the time again. If you don't get the opposite color or the opposite gender in one go, reset until you do. I can't stress this enough. Once you have your blue and green chocobos of opposite genders, it's time to feed them nine silka screens again. And guess what? It's back to racing for you! Go win! Nine times. In between both chocobos. On your way back to the chocobo ranch, you're going to want to fight 18 battles this time. But because we need another chocobo... We're going to go and find it right now. Since it's a rare encounter that happens, you might even get your 18 battles just by trying to catch it. So that's why we're going to be efficient and we're going to go fight our battles and find our chocobo at the same time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is return to the Icicle Inn, again on the northern continent. Travel west a little bit until you find your chocobo tracks. Then you're going to want to park the high wind close by and walk over to the tracks. Keep fighting until you find the rare encounter of one chocobo with one single bunny. No Bandersnatch, nothing else, just one bunny. Catch it. You will now have a wonderful chocobo. Once you have caught your wonderful chocobo, make sure to make note which gender it is. Now that you have your 18 battles, it's time to save again. And then you are Please going save. to <laughs> And then you are going to mate your blue and green chocobos using another carob nut. This should give you a black chocobo. Keep resetting until you get the opposite gender of your wonderful chocobo because they're going to need to be in love. Once you have your opposite gender and black chocobo, it's time to feed your third generation with nine silkis greens each. Not that your wonderful chocobo needs it to win the race, but this will solidify your chances. It's time to go back to the races, and you're going to have to win a combined total of 12 races this time. 
Go in! It should not be very hard. Your chocobo will be very fast. Go fight 18 more battles to make sure that your new bokos are well rested. Save to make sure that this is going to work. If needed, you might have to release some of your old first generation chocobos to make room in your staples. And then it's time to breed your black boko with your wonderful boko. And you are going to use the Zeo nut this time. Use your one Zayo nut. And there you have your gold chocobo. Please name him accordingly. And there you have it. Take your new chocobo up for a spin and see how fast your new choco god is. With this, you should have no problem winning with about double the speed as everybody else. That you're using chocobo racing for gold saucer points or if you're just wanting to show off like we're doing right now. Enjoy your newly acquired Choco God. With this, you can now travel across the world, everywhere you go. No obstacles, no limits, across mountains, across oceans. Get that Knight of the Round, because that's probably why you got the Chocobo in the first place. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching our guide. I hope you found this guide helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of us, check out our Let's Play series on my channel in the description below. I've been Mac. And this is Endy Earth. And we'll see you in the next video.